You can't judge me for wearing shoes in the house because I know there's creepy people on the internet, okay? Hello, my name is Elise and I am standing on a chair right now. I am very tall because I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. I have two. They have been in the same order since literally forever. I think I started collecting, buying, reading, whatever books when I was 12 years old or somewhere around there. And I have always had them organized in the same way. It's always been alphabetical by author's last name. Uh, if there's uh, the same author or authors with the same last name, it goes by publication date. I don't know, I have a whole system and it's very organized. However, since I started BookTube, I've noticed that the frame of my videos, it's right here next to a bunch of books that I either don't like or they're problematic or just not something I want to showcase. Like we have Miss Problematic JKR. I haven't even read the Harry Potter books. I've read like one or two and I'm not getting rid of them because they're technically not mine. They're just on my shelf. But yeah, like why do I need that in every shot? I don't know. We also have the Hush Hush series. Have I read it? No. I just, I don't know. This is, this is where, this is what BookTube sees and that's not the whole reality of this huge bookshelf. So I'm gonna reorganize it. I am very hesitant to because again, I've always had it in alphabetical order. That is most convenient and logical to me, but I'm going to try and see if I can tolerate a different organization. The good news is I can always reorganize it back to the way it was before if I end up not liking it. Oh, and also I'm starting this task like 20 minutes before I have to go to work. So hopefully I can at least get the books off my shelf before I leave. But yeah, this is definitely going to be a multi-day or at least multi-round kind of adventure. <laughs> and also I don't have any plans for how I'm organizing it. We're just, we're gonna see how it goes. Oh, and another note, I finally have to face my fear of figuring out how not copyrighted music or whatever works because there's no way I am having a whole time lapse and it's just silent. So I guess I will be figuring that out. I don't know where to move my camera so you can see. This is not the move, I already dropped everything. everything again. I keep dropping things. that might be it. I do have some like neck and neck things here. Um, I don't know what to do with them yet, so I'll figure that out in a bit, but I think I'm gonna wipe down all my shelves because clearly they have not been wiped down because there was books on it. But yeah, who would have thought this would be such a labor intensive task because I am sweating immensely right now. Here's a little update of what my floor looks like. 
yeah it's there's stacks everywhere i'm suddenly slightly overwhelmed i have to leave in 10 minutes and literally all i did was make a mess ah i'm looking at the mess on my floor and i just i don't know what to do i should have decided how i was organizing these beforehand because now i just have piles everywhere and I can't move in my room. <laughs> okay, I've made a decision. I'm going to organize them all by color right now. I'm not gonna make my shelves rainbow order. No judgment to people who do that because I think that's cool. I know there's people who are all against rainbow shelves. I think they're epic, you do that. But I just don't feel like I have enough of a, a variety of colors. So I'm not gonna do that, but I'm going to organize them like that right now because since all my books are off my shelf, I just want the opportunity to take pictures for my book. No, book, oh my God, what's it called? Bookstagram, just cause this is probably the only time they're gonna be all off my shelf. So I'm gonna have the camera here so you can see my little color stacks for me. You're probably only gonna be able to see my legs, but whatever. And also I have to leave in like five, 10 minutes. So this is definitely not gonna be completed right now. I hate this. I don't know if this counts as black or yellow. This is so stressful for me because technically these are both gray, but are they the same color? No, they are not. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. This is as far as I got, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to continue this after work. Hello, it is about 10.30 p.m. and I just got home from work and I'm really uh, regretting my decision because <laughs> I have to clean this all up. I think I'm going to continue with my little rainbow stacks thing. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna film it. I think I'll just do little artistic clips or however else other people do this. I don't know, but I don't wanna point the camera at me as I attempt to clean this up. So yeah, the next clip will just be my journey, I suppose. I have three whole stacks of books with black spines. I have two large stacks with blue. Barely anything for pink. Pink and purple were just kind of messes. They're barely pink and purple. Barely anything for orange. I had a lot more yellow than I thought. Uh, green is kind of green. A good amount of gray. A stack and a half for white, whatever that is, I guess brown, and a hefty, nice, tall stack for red. I don't know what to do with these stacks now. My tower keeps tipping. Ah! Uh, it fell. I'm about to give up.
okay, whatever I planned to do was not working and it's almost midnight. So I think I ended up just sorting these into colorful stacks for fun, I guess, because I'm gonna take them out of their colored stacks and just put them on my shelf because I am tired. Time to put them back into series because I separated the series, which was foolery. Take two, I have separated books that I only have one in the series or they're singles and then series. It's almost 1 a.m. but I'm kind of getting there, almost there. have quite a few books left, but like also quite a few books on the shelf. It's currently 1.40 a.m. and I have run into a problem. I have two books left to put on my shelf, just these two, but I have run out of space on my shelf. Uh, one section of my bookshelf, this one, the bottom, oh gosh, I'm having trouble. This bottom shelf here is books that I might unhaul. Uh, so if I do unhaul in the new future, near future, uh, I will have room for these, but I kind of want to fit them on my shelf now, so I might mess around and see if I can put them somewhere. It is 2.04 a.m. I was super excited because I got all my books to fit. I just took off all my makeup. I was going to wash my face, get ready for bed, and then look what I found. I, I don't know where to put them. Well, it's been weeks since I filmed this video or started filming this video and it has come to my attention while editing that I never finished filming because I got frustrated at the end. So let me just conclude this video with a little tour of what I did. I made the top rainbow. You can't really see the purple section because of my large plant, but yeah, it's rainbow. I never thought I would do rainbow shelves, but here we are. And then I have two of my current favorite books displayed, Rise of Kiyoshi, because all of a sudden I became a huge Avatar fan. And then Loveless by Alice Osman, just a little promo for myself. I put a whole video on this book on my channel to review, so check that out if you haven't already. And then I just have some other random series, have my favorite series, uh, The Lorraine Legacies up here, all of my Rick Riordan books. Um, and everything else, honestly, is kind of just random, which low-key bothers me because I've always had my books in alphabetical by last name, but, you know, this is something new. I don't know if I love it yet. Um, I think the beginning was definitely kind of a fail since I didn't know what was going on. I might change it, I might not, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. And this last shelf down here that's kind of hidden, this is my I will probably get rid of these books shelf. Uh... Yeah, that's why they're all the way on the bottom. But other than that, this is the complete prod product. Um, if you keep hearing noises in the back, that's because I keep tripping over things in my room. This one book right there bothers me because I did not have space on my shelf. So yeah, I think this was a semi-success, semi-failure. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I really hate saying that. Whatever. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. I finished filming that clip and I don't know what I said thank you for. I guess thank you for watching. That would have been a better thing to say, but whatever. See you next video.